I did the math on this real quick. So we got 499 grams. We divide that by an eight ball, which is 3.5. That's 142 eight balls or 143. So his wife had um, 124, well, 125 grams. So that means she had 36 eight balls. Um, well, actually probably less than that because if you hook people up fat, it gets smaller. All right, so I'm talking about Randy again. This guy who's a hell's angel who has been spied on forever by the FBI, never busted him, and now they finally busted him for a pound of meth. And some people, like me, are sitting there going, um, is the FBI putting this guy in danger because he's in jail right now in a very populated area um, during COVID-19 just because he has a drug addiction, but then everyone goes, well, he was gonna be there for 10 years anyways. Okay, um, does no one else see how cruel 10 years of jail is or 10 years of prison is because you sell to 147 people? Like, you sell enough drugs to give people drugs, 147 people drugs for a week. Uh, when I say an eight ball was a lot when I was a kid, I mean, um, an eight ball was a lot because a half ounce was a lot. Like a half ounce of pot of swag was a lot. I'm talking about cheap pot. So um, an eight ball was a lot, yeah. An eight ball is not a lot. An eight ball is like less than a week's worth. So all I'm saying is this guy was not supplying a huge amount of people and um, probably his biggest problem he had going for him is that he was a member of the Hells Angels and uh, he was labeled as a gang member and every single gang member is tracked if they have a label on them. So I'm just, I'm just saying the FBI knows every single Hells Angels member that they can find in the entire world. Um, if you don't think that a $60 billion budget, um, I don't know how much their budget is, but all I'm saying is, um, the FBI has an incredible amount of money and they need a way to classify people so they want to classify them as gang members so everyone's a freaking hell's angel but that makes them especially obsessed with this guy specifically because he's the head of a chapter of the hell's angels and he's from California and the hell's angels that hung out with the pranksters were from California. So, um, well, I don't even know that.